And the federal government has to be the dominant player, just like it has to be the dominant player in infrastructure, just like it has to be a more significant player in education. And folks, in the last analysis, that means we have to spend our money wisely in Washington. The next president and the next Congress are going to have a huge task ahead of them. And somebody somewhere in this country has to stand up and say to the American people, we're not going to keep cutting your taxes. We're going to invest some of this money to try to create a better, stronger America. Because just cutting your taxes hasn't worked. We've had the biggest tax cut in the country's history over the last seven years. And we've got the worst economy in a long, long time. And I know it's not that simple. But until we start to invest in ourselves, until we start to answer questions with big and bold and significant solutions, we're not going to change. And we're going to slip decade by decade into more and more mediocrity until by the time our grandchildren are having grandchildren, we will be a second-rate economic power. It doesn't have to be. 